imagine living in a world where creativity and innovation don't exist. The same song is played on your radio every day. The same films are shown in cinemas. The same piece of art is on every wall. The cars, clothes, and everything around us are identical. For a very long time, it was believed that human creativity was the exclusive source of all things artistic. But it turns out that AI can accomplish a lot more in the creative sector. Advancements in AI are breaking that stereotype. And did you know that it's not possible to create a work of art in seconds using AI and a single phrase? This technology has become more accessible than ever. It all began seven years ago, back in 2015. Machine learning algorithms could already label objects in images. So what if this process flipped around? If we could do image to text, why not try doing text to images? That was the beginning of the AI art generation. What really made me curious was to find out what people's perceptions are and whether they can distinguish between an artwork created by a human and AI. To satisfy my curiosity, I conducted a survey asking the youth in my social network. I showed them two images and asked them to identify which one was created by me and which one was created by AI. Here are the results. Some said that both the drawings were created by AI, while others successfully distinguished between the two. AI can also be seen through the lens of science fiction, such as developing futuristic notions like cyborgs, a supermarket in the sky, the future of Dubai, or even illustrating what humans will look like 100 years from now. The hardest part of an art project is definitely the concept creation. I sit down and hold my pencil, but suddenly my mind goes blank. Many times, artists may face creative blocks, where we're unable to come up with new ideas and we feel stuck. To search for inspiration, we spend hours either endlessly scrolling on Pinterest or sketching and putting together the most random things. This extremely frustrating and time-consuming process can be eliminated by AI. Think about how much time can be saved because AI design works in seconds. Artists are more likely willing to explore more risky ideas because they don't have to worry about messing up or spending hours on a concept that may not end up being worthwhile. This capacity to imitate and reproduce can be useful in restoration, as well as the extension of an artwork. Dolly, Deep Dream Generator, Mid Journey, and Night Cafe. These are some examples of deep learning algorithms. These generators are completely offsite, so you don't need any expensive hardware or software. A computer with an internet connection is all you need. For example, Dolly can take any artwork and expand it to show us what it might look like. Or perhaps, if you want to view a drawing in a different style without making a completely new drawing, you can use AI for that. Take a look at this. I put my original drawing through the Google Deep Dream Generator. And within seconds, it showed me what my drawing would look like in a new style. So how is this going to be useful for us? This fascinating technology can emulate every famous designer, every art style, and every scene in all of recorded history. You can replicate an artist's style without actually copying them by just inputting their name. This will be a gateway for countries who want to transition from creative industries to creative economy. Entry barriers for artists are quickly disappearing, and AI art is going to create a massive bridge between artists, creative coders, researchers, and engineers. But just like all technology, AI needs a solid set of rules and laws in place such as using art under the Creative Commons license. So we need to rewrite the rules of AI ethics. What we're seeing now is that people are generating AI art and claiming it as their own original piece. Some people go as far as accusing true artists of generating their work. Think about it. Do we really want to automate something that is so central to who we are as humans? 
There is something missing in these AI models' artistic process. The algorithm might create appealing images, but it lives in an isolated creative space that lacks social context. And it seems to be soulless. Amidst this new technology, we mustn't forget to appreciate our artists, because art as a profession is just as noble and respectful as any other profession. When we look at an artwork created by a human, we know that the person used their hands to create it, and it tells a story. The artwork may have taken hours, days, or weeks. Removing this kind of art is removing an essence of humanity. What artists really need are tools made to assist, not exploit. This is why, to AI-proof any career, we need to be human. If we're constantly pushing the boundaries of our creativity and trying to do things that have never been done before, then we have no need to fear the rise of machines. AI has the potential to unleash a completely new world of creative potential. It is something to be joyously explored rather than something to be feared, because this isn't about humans versus AI, but humans and AI. AI is here to extend a helping hand, because art itself is too vital to be killed by new technology. Art will always find its way home into the hearts of humanity. So let us embrace, supercharge, and make room for creativity in our lives. As said by Albert Einstein, creativity is intelligence having fun. The new future metaverse where machines make everything better than us might just be a distant dream. This is the future of creativity brought to you by artificial intelligence. Thank you.